I saw a video oh, a couple of days ago from the CEO of a company called Centerplate. I actually never heard of it before. That the CEO of that company named Desmond Hogg, if I pronounced that correctly, it was a video that actually, well, let me actually show you the video first. Oh, brother. It's, you know, it was really hard for me to watch that video because I wasn't too surprised that this is something that people do. The world contains evil because human beings are aggressive animals. Actually, human beings are wild animals. I remember I was on a road trip with my family and we went to Seattle. So we went to a lot of the national parks. We went to a lot of the you know, actually, we went to Mount St. Helens. So it was a very, um, very beautiful location. And anyway, I think on our trip there, we actually, I think we're like at this particular location. And there was like a, a deer, a deer just eating grass nearby. And there's people taking pictures and basically, you know, they want to pet the deer. And there was somebody nearby that said, don't pet the deers. Don't feed the deers. They are wild animals. I actually never really heard about that before. I was like, hmm, wild animal. I did hear about the about what is a wild animal, but I did not really, really pick up that particular concept. That basically what a wild animal is, is that it is an animal that is not uh, taken care of or that is managed by people in layman's terms. And I said, that's actually very interesting because like our cats or our dogs, for example, they are tamed or domesticated animals because we bring them into our house and, you know, we feed them, we play with them. We conform those animals to human beings, traditions or customs. We do that. And I'm like, hmm, well, who brought us in? Because think about it. Human beings are also animals. And. Well, no one really brought us in and taught us a proper custom of how to live life. So think about it. Human beings are wild animals. We have never been tamed. We have never been truly domesticated. I think over time, most of us try to domesticate ourselves so then we can become human beings or become normal people that are good individuals and contributing to society. Where most of us, we're not tamed that way and we end up becoming wild animals and we, we commit crime, we do hate, we do racism, sexism, everything you can possibly imagine has happened on this planet is because we are wild animals and we were never taught the best way how to become a human being. I don't know. And seeing that particular video really kind of gave me a perspective of, I think that's an example of wild animals. So it's important to ask yourself, what is being a good person? And being a good person is doing the right thing, that you're respecting other people. You're thinking of others when you do something. And a lot of the videos I'll be adding will be, you know, I'm going to talk about this further because there's a lot of things that shows the, what I call the human aggressive acts that we do. Okay. And a lot of this is definitely that kind of um, ideology. So seeing that particular dog video, it just clearly demonstrated that as human beings, we are misanthropy. And misanthropy is the dislike, distrust, and hatred of humankind. We just don't really like other people or trust other people or kind of, we have problems coexisting together. And I talked about that a lot in the Human Formula video series. So check that out for more of the details of why we do the things that we do. Remember, we actually share this plan together, okay? 
this planet is not ruled by a type of person based on their color, their religion, their sex, their sexual preference. We all share this planet together, all seven billion of us. And it's important that we treat each other with respect and do the right thing. Now, I know that is pretty much very hard because people think that they are entitled to certain things and that they are entitled to what they believe in and what they think about, that everything else should conform to them. And in reality, that just doesn't work. And I think over time, when you get older, I think a lot of younger people think that way because they do not have a range of experience. When they get that experience, then they start realizing, oh, that's how the world works. It does not conform to me. It conforms to nobody. Because the earth was doing perfectly fine before we moseyed along and messed everything up. So think about that. Be good. Think of others and be respectful and basically do not do what this guy did in this video. Because for me, that was like if I could go to the dictionary and look at human aggression, that would be what I would see in the dictionary.